Hey everybody, we're going to introduce you to a vision board that will absolutely knock your socks off. I mean it works because it works with your subconscious mind, not your conscious mind. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi everybody, Robert Zink for Miracle Mentoring and Alchemy Life Coaching. And we're talking about a vision board. Now, I know many of you have made vision boards before and you've read all these articles and you followed the instructions. You went out and bought a cork board and then you gathered a whole bunch of magazines and you cut out pictures and you taped them to the cork board and then you put it on your wall. And then something mystical magical was supposed to happen. All of a sudden a new car was supposed to show up or a new home or a better job or more money. But it didn't happen, did it? <laughs> no. It didn't happen and here's the reason why. Every time you looked at that vision board and saw that beautiful BMW, you were saying to yourself consciously, I can't afford that car. Every time you looked at that vision board and saw that beautiful home overlooking the sea, you said to yourself, I can't afford that home. Someday, someday I'll have it. Well, the law of attraction really doesn't work that way. The law of attraction matches what you are not what you want. And so a vision board is kind of a vision of what you want, not what you are. In a way, some vision boards can be kind of dangerous because they actually begin to work against us. Now there was an interesting character over a hundred years ago by the name of Austin Osmond Spare, A.O. Spare. And A.O. Spare was a chaos magician. And he came up with this unique formula. People came from all over the world to have Spare manifest things for them. Okay, he would create these vision boards, so to speak, and then he would focus on them. And in a month or two or three, whatever he focused on, began to manifest for the person he did it for. And so it was a unique formula. I have kind of modernized it, but I want to share it with you. I think it's exactly what you're looking for because it works and because it communicates directly to the subconscious mind, the 95% of your brain that you use to function with. Now, here's what he did. He had a piece of paper like so, and a crayon, or a pen, and he would focus on an intention. Let's say your intention is a new car. Say it's a, uh, what kind of car do you want, huh? Oh, you want a Jeep? Okay, well, go. you don't want a Jeep? You want a BMW? Okay, we'll do a BMW. I got it now. Okay, let's not get confusing, okay? BMW, right? So you're focusing on a BMW and you put the pen down and you see yourself driving that BMW. You feel it, you smell the leather, you feel the road beneath you. If it's a convertible, the wind in your hair. And you simply let your hand go as you are visualizing and emotionalizing the BMW. Now your hand is free-forming and it's being directed not by your conscious mind but by your subconscious mind. Now this is very important. Listen to me. Your subconscious mind is how you manifest anything you desire. We don't manifest with the 5% of our conscious mind. 
we manifest with our subconscious mind. Okay, that's important. You really have got to get that down because that's where the action takes place. This became a symbol of the subconscious mind and it became a symbol of a BMW in the subconscious mind. So what Spare would do is he would have one of the subconscious mind. Perhaps somebody was thinking about creating a relationship. So he might have a different color pen and he would be attracting a special lover to somebody. And as he was focusing on that lover, on that relationship, his hand was free forming and creating a, a sigil of sorts. Okay, this is so important. So somebody asked him, they said, Spare, can you tell me how long it takes to work? And he said, about the time I forget what it means, it actually begins to work. So think about this. About the time that you forget what this means, it actually begins to work. So why not come up with 10 or 20 intentions that are important to your life. Some of them are really big intentions and some of them are small. And get little five by seven pieces of paper and draw your intention. Maybe one intention is to have a private garden in your new home. Maybe another intention is to take a trip to India and travel on a train throughout India. So pretty soon you have 20, 20 of these, about that big. And then you glue them on a frame, mix them up. Why do we mix them up? We mix them up because we don't want your conscious mind to get in the way. I don't want my conscious mind to remember what this means. I want my conscious mind to forget what this specific symbol means. I don't care what my conscious mind thinks. I'm focused on the subconscious. So I put them on the wall or put them all in a frame or maybe several frames. Now some people like to put them in their bedroom, some people in their bathroom, their hallway. Rachel likes to put them on the refrigerator. Whatever works for you, put these sigils up. And after a while, you'll just kind of look at them and think of them as scribbling, if you will. And you'll eventually forget what they are. But all of a sudden, one day, you'll be driving up in a new BMW, pulling into your new home, and you'll remember those sigils that you drew. One day, somebody will call you that you've been waiting for for such a long time. And that person will be your soulmate. And you'll remember that sigil. This vision board, it really, really works because it works with your subconscious mind. Now, I know it's a little bit different. It's a little off the beaten path to what you're used to. So if you want to send me letters or questions here on YouTube, we'll be happy to answer them. Give it a try. I know that you will create the personal freedom and love and happiness and abundance and joy that you deserve. Hey, I want to remind you to come and join us right here on YouTube by subscribing. And that way you get all of our latest videos and our YouTube live videos as well. Thank you so much. You have a great day now because you, yes, you, you deserve it. Bye-bye.